Hello my soccer universe for another Women's World Cup update. I'm wearing my first US jersey from the 2010 World Cup with this really really weird crest. Um, yeah, the, uh, the game yesterday was only one quarterfinal between the um, uh, France hosts and the holders, uh, the US. Uh, it was pr a pretty big game in every regard. I mean, the top two teams, a lot of hype, the two teams that really get spectators in, but also the two best teams and it was a really good game overall. Uh, also the matchup holders against uh, hosts, that's not a very common one even in the men's World Cup. I think I got it only that it happened four times. 38 quarterfinal between France and uh, Italy. Then in 58 uh, between Sweden and Germany, where Sweden won the first one, Italy won. Um, and then I have the, uh, only two more times um, the semi final 1990 between Italy and Argentina. We know how that one ended. It was in Naples, although, you know, one might argue the crowd was uh, kind, of, kind of split, but I always think that it was a lot of uh, pro Italian crowd. And then the 98 World Cup final, and that was that. So uh, that was a, uh, definitely a special one. The game was good, if not great. I mean, fast paced by uh, given the heat. However, it soon took the turn uh, towards the US. In the fifth minute, Rapino has a free kick uh, with only two men in uh, two women in the wall for France. She curls it in, and it goes through all the defenders into the net in the fifth minute. Um, and then the game was fast paced however it was that um, uh, French never could break down the organized uh, US attack and in fact there was a statistic shown where it was five three shots for France uh, but three shots on goal for the US and zero for France so uh, that tells you everything actually there was also a very contentious scene around the 18th where um, the goalkeeper for France uh, Buhadi takes down Rapino, who is clear on goal. Maybe you could argue she saved it. Uh, but then um, it goes to a throw-in, very quickly done. Uh, and then uh, there's a clear foul, I think, on Tobin Heath in, uh, uh, in or Lavelle, I think it was. I, 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 sorry, I don't uh, recall. But it was a clear foul that was also not, not given. So actually it should have been 2-0 for the States. But France then tried, you know, tried, but really couldn't break down the organized States defense. Um, in the second half, very early, uh, you know, uh, the US have big chances, but then France really puts up the pressure. Uh, there was a shot by Lesson May where I thought if she would have put it um, on the side uh, to Gouin, uh, Gauvin, she might have had a better uh, chance, but she took uh, the shot. Then, uh, you know, free kicks always. Uh, Renard is a danger. But right in this pressure uh, phase of France, uh, counter attack uh, where the ball gets to Rapino and she can easily slot it home. 2 0 states. France then defending completely optional. Uh, goes forward, but can only uh, muster the consolation goal through Renard in the 81st after a free kick. They try, but then, like France in the 2018 World Cup, the US really, really, really uh, could shut it down, you know, by taking the ball to the corner line, really making it hard uh, in a very routine fashion. Ice cold, killed off the game. And it ends 2-1 for the United States. Um, and the hosts are out. Tears, of course, in France. Um, but I honestly have to say this was a very mature performance by the US team. They showed that they're the best, the better team. And that they're still the tournament favorites. And in a way, in women's soccer, for me, the US is what Brazil, uh, in women's soccer is what uh, Brazil is in men's soccer. And... Uh, they are really hard to break down and they go in there with a confidence that we can beat up everyone. And that's exactly what they did. Uh, was impressive. I really have to say, uh, I liked what France was going. I liked the high pace on the game, especially in the first 25 to 30, 30, 30 minutes. It was a really good game. Uh, in many ways, if I was like, Lutra, this could have well been 
a men's game as well. This was at that level. This was were really two great uh, teams, well trained, well organized, especially the states. Lots of skill. Uh, it was an absolute joy to watch that one. I have to say. The US plays now England in Lyon, and the journey for France is done. Uh, that semi final looks to be another one, probably of similar quali quality, one to look forward to for sure. Um, and today we have two quarterfinals, the early, early one, which I really would like to see, but I'm not sure if I will be able to, between Italy and Netherlands, and then the late one at 6.30. Here, Central European time between uh, Germany and Sweden. Um, the first one to me is open, although, yeah, to me is open. And the second one, I think Germany owns Sweden, so Germany will probably make it through. Anyway, let me know any comments that you have on uh, yesterday's game. As I said, I thoroughly enjoyed this one. This was women's soccer at its very, very best. Um, drop a comment below, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.